So in this list of top picks, I see a lot of up-and-comers, you know, MongoDB, Atlassian, uh, Elastic, Viva, you know, some, some DevOps in there, which is a kind of geeky favorite of mine. But Microsoft, I mean, that's already pretty big. Of all the big names you could have picked, why this one? Well, it is, and thanks so much for having me uh, on the show. I, I think for Microsoft, we see them as the best positioned large cap uh, software vendor out there. Uh, they are having success uh, monetizing uh, Office 365 through some of their productivity suites. Uh, we also see them well positioned to take advantage of enterprises moving to the cloud in 2021 and beyond in, in a more strategic way. Uh, we think that AWS and, and Google, uh, those are more builder clouds, whereas Microsoft Azure is, is more geared to the enterprise customers. And so we think they're well positioned to take advantage uh, of that momentum going forward. Now, Tyler, are there metrics that you want to watch with Microsoft that are different, perhaps, than the mainstream overall metrics that we tend to watch, you know, Azure growth uh, year over year, et cetera? Because when that gets compared to Amazon, Amazon is still number one. My question, though, as the cloud evolves is, where's the profit growth going to be, and which are the companies that are best positioned to take advantage of that? Yeah, absolutely. So I think one of the, the interesting factors about Microsoft is you actually saw their Azure revenue reaccelerate last quarter. And, and so I think typically when you see reaccelerations in software, that is a sign of, of increasing momentum. Um, you know, we're, we're modeling double digit overall revenue growth for Microsoft, which again at scale is, is super impressive. Uh, we're, we're modeling double digit uh, operating margin growth as well. And so we think the, the, the cloud as well as the, the things they're doing in, in uh, Office 365 are, are well, you know, set up, set the company well up going forward. You do talk about some other ideas that are exposed to that, that general theme, DocuSign, and now I think you have buys on both of them. Um, just how broad yep. do you think the population will be uh, that benefits from this? Yeah, absolutely. So I think... I kind of think of 2020 is a is a year of uh, rapid and and, a, and almost panic buying of, of these digital tools, right? You know, whether it was Zoom or or to some extent DocuSign. I think now that the the pandemic hopefully is is in sight, uh, enterprise customers are going to be more strategic in terms of their purchasing decisions and digital transformations in in 2021. And so I think for DocuSign, I mean, you just think about all the processes today that are paper based and. Uh, the, there's a ton of upside potential for the conversion of that to digital, which I think benefits a company like DocuSign. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.